Okay, in this video I want to talk about finding second derivatives when you have parametric equations. And what we do in this one is, uh, it says we take, so we want to find this, the second derivative, so notationally that's, write that as d squared y dx squared, and remember what that means is we're taking the derivative with respect to x of dy dx. <coughs> And we can rewrite that as we know dy dx is dy dt over dx dt. Um, we saw that in a different video. And you can rearrange that um, to get d dt of dy dx over dx dt. So let's do just a couple examples, just some mechanical ones. Nothing, nothing real crazy in this one at all. Okay, so the first thing it says we have to do is, so if we want to find the second derivative, it says first we have to calculate the derivative of y with respect to x, but again we know the derivative of y with respect to x is the derivative of y with respect to t over dx dt. Okay, well the derivative of y with respect to t would just be 5t to the fourth. The derivative of x with respect to t would be 3t squared plus 1. Alright, easy enough. Um, so that's our dy dx. And it says to calculate the second derivative, it says I have to take the derivative with respect to t of dy dx, which is 5t to the fourth over 3t squared plus 1. And it says I divide all of that by the original dx dt. And dx dt we just calculated was 3t squared plus 1. So it's not like a normal second derivative. You don't take a derivative and then this thing, you just take the derivative again. You do that, but that goes in the numerator, and you have to divide by the original dx dt. So in the numerator, I'll just use the quotient rule. So it says you get the bottom, 3t squared plus 1 times the derivative of the top, which is 20t cubed. minus, um, so the bottom times the derivative of the top, minus the top, times the derivative of the bottom, which will just be 6t to the first power, and that's all going to be divided by um, 3t squared plus 1 quantity squared. Alright, so scoot that over, make our fraction look a little better here. 3t squared plus 1 all right, now it's just a matter of cleaning up uh, this fraction here a little bit. So let's see. So we can move the 3t squared plus 1. If we flip and multiply, we'll end up getting the denominator to be 3t squared plus 1 cubed. And then we just need to simplify the numerator of our fraction here to get our um, the simplified form. So if we distribute, uh, we'll get 20 and 3, that'll give us 60t to the fifth, plus 20t cubed, uh, minus, whoops, how about 30t to the fifth. And obviously we could simplify that down a little bit further, make the 60t to the fifth minus 30t to the fifth. We can combine that into just 30t to the fifth. So 30t to the fifth plus 20t to the third. And then I don't see any other really good ways to simplify this thing down. So hey, I would leave it just like that. So just a basic example on how to calculate second derivatives when you have parametric equations. If you have any questions or need to see an extra example of this stuff, send me an email. But otherwise, I think it should be pretty straightforward. I mean, just typical derivative stuff, you know, depending on how nasty the derivative is. It may take a little more work or less work to simplify it down. But other than that, you know, the computations, the procedure is relatively straightforward. So, all right, I hope this helps.